Hello everybody, my name is Dalton Rutlinger and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sailwind. This is the Dow Only Challenge. So, I've got some explaining I need to do. Um, I'm not very proud of it, but things have happened in a way that I would rather they have not have happened, but... Um, <clears throat> it, it's kind of a lot to, to digest, so I'll just try and explain things. Uh, throughout the video as much as I can. Uh, basically, I tried to record the entire journey from uh, Al Ankh, or Gold Rock City, to the Dragon Cliffs, where I am now. Uh, I had a three-day weekend. I tried to do the entire video series uh, over those three days. And things started off well, but one thing... <laughs> just kept leading to another uh, with the video and eventually I just ran out of patience um, the short version of what happened is I got sick and tired of constantly being blown off course by the wind um, it would see it seemed like no matter what direction I faced if I went north if I went south it didn't seem to matter. The wind was constantly just blowing directly into my face, and it was constantly blowing me off course. Which, you know, for the most part, I'm okay with. I can handle it just fine, but... My patients are not infinite. <laughs> let's, let's say that. And whenever I'm constantly being blown off course or if I wake up and my ship is constantly facing into the wind and I've lost considerable progress going in the opposite direction I my patience just I can only handle so much before I have to call it quits and to top it off uh, whenever I just said you know what screw it I'm low on supplies I don't even know where the heck I am I don't know if I'm too far north I don't know if I'm too far south um, and there wasn't really a way for me to actually get back into um, the correct area that I needed to be in to continue further on east because the wind would just constantly shift me, blowing me back to the back to the west. I would lose considerable considerable progress that I had made uh, the previous day, and eventually I just got sick and tired of it. So what I did was I just recovered the boat and teleported here to Gold Rock or Gold Rock City to uh, the Dragon Cliffs, and come to find out, the cargo that I'm carrying, I can't even sell it because I don't have enough reputation. I was already ticked off enough as it was. My supplies were dwindling. I was getting very agitated from the wind. And I had numerous other things going on in real life that kind of demanded my attention as well. So I'm trying to like wrap up the voyage as quickly as I can. And... Yeah, it was not a good episode. Uh, <laughs> I, I I thought about uploading it, but I, I decided, you know what? No, I'm, I'm not at my best in that video. I should probably just delete it and explain things in a different video like I'm doing now. And I think that was the better call because I, I was not happy in that video, especially whenever I came to the Dragon Cliffs and I found out the sick the silk that I'm carrying I can't even I couldn't even sell because I didn't have the required reputation. It <laughs> completely threw off my plans. And honestly, there for a while, I was debating just uninstalling the game completely. I, it, I was so pissed off. That's one thing this game does really well. Whenever it's good, it's good. But whenever the game starts to piss you off, it really pisses you off.
So what we're doing now is we're taking some tobacco to uh, Crab Beach to build up some reputation. That way, he can come back to the Dragon Cliffs and sell the silk. Yeah, I, I do apologize for deciding against uploading that video, but I I was not my best in that video. Let's let's just say that I I was so beyond pissed. I, yeah, I I was just. I don't even know. I I don't even have the words to describe how freaking frustrated I was with the game at that point, or and myself as well. I should probably point out. Um, I could have made a lot of I could have made a lot better decisions that I did. What? This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. We were well out to sea there for a while, and now this is happening. Oh my god, just game, come on! The wind in this region, I swear, it's... Ugh. Crying out loud. Like I said, when this game is good, it's good. But whenever it really tests, whenever it decides to, it can really test your patience. Like it's doing to me right now. in the mood for this kind of stuff i i am not i'm still agitated from what happened yesterday game i'm not in the mood keep this up it'll just be no man's sky in my channel for a while At this point, I'd be very surprised if we get this cargo delivered on time. Ah, yes, and this is another thing that was really starting to tick me off as well. Why can I not grab you? Thank you. game you know I used to have the patience of a saint I used to be one of the most patient people on earth 
but after dealing with some of the most stupid people you can possibly imagine in jobs and uh, real life, other real life activities, my patience is not what it once was. I think that's our destination over there. Oops. Wait, what the? Okay, that's that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see if I can kind of remember my way around. Okay. That island over there is nothing. It's part of that island, and that's where the actual port is. Um, Newport is basically directly north, and Crab Beach is a little to the to the east. Up here is Sanctuary, then down here is the Sage Hills. This, the Sage Hills is probably my favorite island in the entire game. The sooner we can go there, the better, honestly. Well, um, because I've been having some uploading issues, I think I'm just going to cut out here and I'll see you guys whenever we finally reach our destination. Or at least we get halfway close to it. These crates are due tomorrow, so hopefully we can make it on time. Provided another stunt like that doesn't happen again. Let's see here. I think... I think that island over there is Crab Beach. And there's Newport up there ahead of us. Okay, so the wind is blowing. still kind of blowing in the direction I need to, well, kind of, not really. I think we can do this if we turn like this. see the lights from the port. In my old game, I had this almost down to a science, then I took a break for a while. see you guys in a moment. Alright, good morning everybody. Um, trying to get my bearings here. I believe that up there is Sanctuary, which means we've sailed past our destination. Um, is that our destination or is that the Dragon Cliffs? I want to say that's our destination over there. Directly where the wind is blowing from. Or almost. This game, I swear. I 
Hey, you want to go to that island over there? Well, don't worry about it. The island, the wind is going to be blowing directly in your face the entire time. And if you try and switch to a different island, the wind will be blowing in your face the entire time then too. I am so salty. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I'm, I'm still just very salty about the whole trip trying to get to here from uh, all along. I... It was such an annoying trip. And my patience only lasts for so long. Okay, well that's definitely a beach. Ah, yes, and the worst boat in the game is also at Crab Beach as well, or at least in my opinion, anyway. <laughs> I I do not like this thing that we're about to see. I, I don't. Can we see it from here? <laughs> no. Uh, I do not like the Kakum. I'm sorry, I, I just don't. I'm sure there's someone out there who thinks it's the best boat in the game, yada yada yada, but for me, I, I cannot stand it. Alright, here we go. There is the dock we're heading for. I believe I saw somewhere over here. Aha! It's the dolphin boat. <laughs> it's not doing it now, but in my previous playthrough of this game, that, that boat over there was leaping out of the water in ways that would put a dolphin to shame. Like, I'm not even kidding. Look at the look at the list on that thing. This thing needs a bath too. I I, I think I'm gonna do two journeys in this in this video, just to make up for the fact I'm probably gonna be cutting in and out. Uh, I've got some stuff I'm trying to do off screen, so. Um, I, I've got to stop saying um all the time. I, I, I've got too much of a habit, habit of it now. But anyway, I'm trying to do some stuff off screen, and I can't really have you seeing what's going on there while trying to make this video, so... I apologize, I apologize for the constant, like, cutting in and out, but... It's just got to be one of those types of videos today, I'm afraid. Okay, wind, come on. The wind really loves blowing from the direction that you need to go in this game. You see, originally I thought about going around the long way, around the beach, then kind of circling back, but with the wind blowing in this direction, I, it wouldn't have mattered. In fact, if anything, it might have been worse. I'll see you guys when I finally get to the dock. Yeah, I believe silk was valuable at every island here. I don't remember how much it was at Crab Beach, though. I might have to uh, sell my stuff here, because how much is the job bringing in here? 194 Emerald Dragons, 181. 
I know it was the most at the Dragon Cliffs, but I'm going to need money. Like, in a hurry, because my food supplies is basically almost non-existent at this point. Yeah, apologies for my attitude in this video, but yeah, I <laughs> I'm still so salty. I'm I'm very salty. I'm very annoyed. I'm just <sighs> I I have no words to really describe how frustrated I was yesterday. I I came this close to uninstalling the game just permanently. I I I was so freaking done. There it is, my least favorite ship in the entire game. It's parked very inconveniently, it must be said. Alright, so this is the silk. Okay, but first things first, the mission is due today, or the missions. So let's go ahead and just get these out of the way. I'll go ahead and take you so I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, I thought about doing this video off screen, but I didn't want people to start wondering what happened to the Sailwind Let's Play, so I figured I'd just go ahead and upload this video now, even though I'm in still kind of a salty attitude about what happened, but uh, I figured people would probably want to know what happened to the LP. One mission done. Now please tell me this will give me enough reputation to view the trade log. Because if not, I'm going to be very annoyed. Wait, no, those are fishing hooks. Is that... I guess it was. Okay. Silk. Still not enough reputation. Good God Almighty. Fine game. Be that way. I guess I'll take another job back to the Dragon Cliffs. At least this time I should hopefully have the wind at my back. Tuna.
I guess to to start off with, I should have just taken a mission to the Dragon Cliffs rather than just some trade goods. But I wasn't expecting to not be able to sell my trade goods due to lack of reputation. I guess now I know. Although, I didn't think about taking it to the merchants. Which I know that's something you can actually do, I just didn't think about it. Hmm. Maybe I should have done that instead. Oh well, you can't really think very well whenever you're actually getting angry and flustered and all that kind of stuff, so... Pull you up. You know the nice thing about the big, the bigger ships? Cargo has a designated hold where it's out of the way. Oh well. Well, I will see you guys in the morning. Well, it's not morning yet, but we are approaching the Dragon Cliffs once again. This time, I'm actually able to use my square sail, so I can actually have the I can actually go at a pretty significant speed with the wind at my back. I think I could probably go a little bit faster if I did this. Okay, maybe not quite to that extreme though. We'll try not to have the sails clipping through each other. Yeah, that seems like it picked up our speed quite nicely, actually. Ah, oh, look at that. All sails down. Like I said, when this game is good, it's really good. But whenever it's bad, it's, it, re it gets really bad. Uh, What I really should have done is I should have just sailed up north to, like, latitude 33 and caught the eastern wind. But I decided against that because I thought, eh, it's not going to be that bad. I'm sure this thing can handle the wind perfectly fine going just straight east. No. No, it couldn't. This thing got blown around so easily, it was, it was an absolute nightmare. Now, if I were to head back to uh, Alonk, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because the wind would be on my back for the most part. And that's kind of one reason I suggest people start off with the Astron region 
A lot of people say that the cog is a little too advanced. It's, it's really not. Once you kind of get the basics down, it, it's really not. But yeah, start an Astron and just go in a clockwise motion. Go start an Astron, go down to the uh, Emerald Archipelago, then go to Alonk, and then head back up to Astron if you want to. Now, one of you keeps saying that the Long Latine is the best sale for this thing. I disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly because off-screen I have messed around with that thing. And it was an absolute nightmare to deal with. I think I'm going to sail directly into the shipyard. That way I can actually clean the hull, if nothing else. jib you can't really turn that well with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it, it up first and I might do away with the square sail I don't know yet First things first, though, we're going to be selling these missions and then selling, selling the silk as quickly as possible. All right. Come here, you. I said come here. Sell the green tobacco, get some food. Restock up on our water. I've still got like a full barrel of rum, I think, but I might just go ahead and sell that too. Let's see, how full are you? Uh, 40. Yeah, I'll probably just sell the rum too, because I don't really need it for uh, this particular region. Okay, 
and that's both missions done, right? Yes. I can sell this to the merchants, right? Yes. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I didn't even think about this yesterday whenever I finally got here. I, I was just so annoyed. Uh, hello? Okay, fine. I guess he doesn't want to buy. I guess I'll just take it to the, this place. I guess I could just sell it to you. There we go. Alright, so that brings me up to 30,000 emerald dragons already? Okay, and these all on coins are now useless, so let's go ahead and convert these. Uh, there we go. And now, what shall we do now? Uh, well, first, I'm going to go ahead and eat the last of this cheese. Just sell the water and the rum. Actually, I'm just going to sell everything. Get rid of the fishing hooks as well, because there's only eight of them left. And I'll keep the broom. The broom and the bottle. I will keep those. Okay, uh, out of curiosity, can I sell anything to you? No, it'd be handy though. But I can sell things to you. Let's come over here. We'll kind of mess around with the ship a little bit. Most important thing, though, is we clean off the hull. Works for me. And then Is there any Latines? Nope.
never mind then. I'll worry about that stuff at a different time. Uh, let's see here. Buy some eel. Eel is pretty filling. Ah, the lanterns. <laughs> um, I think what I might, might actually do is I'll just bring the ship back around over here. That way it's easier to load. That's not supposed to be like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then gravity is not acting the way it should around it. Can I grab? There we go. Come on, game. What is going on? Oh my god! <laughs> What is going on? This is this is not good. Oh boy. This game's going to drive me to drink and I don't even like the taste of alcohol. Okay, what if I just do that? Okay, there we go. There we don't go. For crying out loud. Oh. I quit. I I just quit. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.